A grandmother arrested after this disturbing video surfaced is now telling us her side of the story. The video showing a 12 year old beaten by another child and several adults outside an Elk Grove school. Police arrested a 13 year old, her mother and grandmother, and are still looking for her aunt tonight. CBS 13's Marley Ginter talked with one of the suspects in an interview you'll see only on CBS 13. That's right, Tony. I talked with a grandmother accused in that attack, fired up and tonight wanting to set the record straight. Now, I talked with police who say this was a targeted attack, so we wanted to know how this all started and what could be next for the family now facing multiple charges. I can admit my crime, what I did, but I didn't do anything. 53-year-old Robin Morris says she's innocent and that the video you see here with multiple adults beating a 12-year-old girl doesn't involve her. I'm going to tell you, we, my family is innocent. That's the God honest truth. But police arrested Morris and her 13-year-old granddaughter for assault with a deadly weapon, along with the teen's mother, 32-year-old Demetria Fowler. The video is it showing a child, child getting hit. Y'all mixing everybody up wrong. But you're saying that your family is them. innocent. I don't fight kids. I don't put my hands on kids. Minors, I don't even get my own kids. And yet all facing serious charges. And could they face more, considering it's a 13-year-old girl who allegedly attacked a 12-year-old with the help of several family members? I mean, it's, there's all kinds of wrong that occurred in this situation. I went to local defense attorney Justin Ward for some answers. He says Morris and her family could be facing child endangerment charges, and it might not stop there. So child Protective Services is likely going to get involved. Involved because what type of upbringing is this young lady having where her family is encouraging her to fight another girl and getting involved? Meantime, Morris says the real victim is her granddaughter, saying school officials, police, and the media have it all wrong. And at this point, we did talk with Elk Grove Unified District officials. We are at headquarters right now, and they tell me they are still waiting to hear back from investigators to find out where everything stands at this point. But they have set up extra patrols around Harriet Eddy Middle School where that attack happened. Meantime, police say that that 12-year-old who was attacked is traumatized but physically should be okay. Well, that's certainly good news. That video just so disturbing. Marley, thanks.